Hello and welcome friends of our homestead. In our this week's video I'd like to introduce you one of our brand new game changer for the farm. It took a while before we finally decided to buy this device. You can buy the device in different sizes from small to extra extra large, depending on what you want to do with it. We bought an extra large version of it. That should fit our requirements. The next question would be how much money you want to spend for it. And is it really worth the money? If it's something for you and if it's really worth the money you can maybe find out in this video. It is definitely a lot of work to learn how to operate this device to get the results you want. I don't want to bore you with showing you how to unpack and assemble this device so let's do it a little faster. There are a lot of other good videos on YouTube where you can find out how to assemble this thing. Those who know a little bit have probably already recognized from the name what this is about. It is a Creality CR10 Smart 3D printer. The CR10 Smart can print objects with 300mm wide, 300mm long and 400mm high, which is, I would say, big. And for a 3D printer, I would say that's extra large, not extra extra large. But bigger is always possible. The printer comes together with all the tools you need to assemble it and to work with that machine. Perfectly organized in that built-in drawer. And with a fairly manageable amount of bolts. This Creality 3D printer is absolutely easy to assemble. You have the base plate with the X axle and you have the head part where the Y axle and the Z axle is mounted. And you have two stabilizers, you have the filament holder and the display and that's it. If you're done with assemble all the parts together, the 3D printer is pretty heavy, it's pretty solid, it's absolute strong, nothing is bubbling, so I'm very surprised. The wire management is perfect, so everything is made that you can simple stick it together and then it's ready to use. We post every Sunday a new video here on our YouTube channel. If you like our videos and what we do, hit the subscribe button in the lower right corner. It costs you nothing, hurts nobody and really helps us a lot. And don't forget to leave a thumb up for us. It also comes with the slicing software from Cura on a SD card and with a USB SD card adapter. But now the question arises: why a 3D printer for the farm? This question is easy to answer. The possibilities here are endless if you think about it for a bit. You can print out everything you need for your daily farm life. If you need a plant pot, print out the plant pot. If you need a pulsator adapter for your milking machine, you can print it out. You don't have to order it, you don't have to wait, you can make it right now. If you need a door handle for your rabbit cage or if you need a door latch for the goat barn, you can do it yourself. 
If you need feeders for your quails or if you need a waterer for your baby chickens to preventing them from drowning, you can design and print it yourself. If you don't want to design your own objects, you can also search for the right objects from thousands of object files on the internet. We provide the files for the objects we design on our Patreon page. You can find the link for the page in the description down below. There you can download them if you are a member. And if you are interested in the 3D printer, I put also the link for you in the description down below. You can find them on Amazon. So that's it for this week's video. Thanks guys for watching it. If you like to support us a little, you can buy us a coffee. I put the link for you in the description down below. Don't forget to visit our Patreon website and we see us next week.